Hello everybody, this is Gam Lee, Broker Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group. And I'm Alan Rios, I'm the Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group here in Metro Atlanta. And today we have a great topic for you. We'll talk about one specific loan program that a lot of folks use, and that is the conventional loan program. Hey, did you know, Gamalier, that 78% of people who are borrowing money to purchase a home are using the conventional loan in 2022? Yes, and obviously there's a lot of benefits, and yeah. it's a program that offers a lot of great things. It does. First of all, let's explain to our viewers what is a conventional loan. A conventional loan is a mortgage loan that is not insured by the Federal Housing Administration. Yes, and uh, Alan, we're going to talk about some specific benefits of this program. By the time you finish this video, you'll be very comfortable and know what you need to know about the conventional loan program. Yeah, so hopefully we'll answer some of the questions you may have about a conventional loan and some of the benefits, and we'll begin. Well, one of the major benefits that when we start talking about the specific loan is the down payment. It's yeah. only 3% down compared to other programs out there where you have to put a little higher down payment. Yeah. So if you have a specific, if you buy a home with $300,000, you only have to come up with 9000 versus other programs where you have to put 20%, you have to come up with 60000 So 9000 or 60000 there's a lot of big difference yeah. in that. And not everyone can save a ton of money like that, right? Yes. So, uh, if you're thinking that, hey, am I able to purchase a home? Maybe you have ten, fifteen thousand dollars in your savings account. Yes, you can. Um, you know, and also there's other factors that go into it, and we'll get to that. But as far as the money that you have saved, obviously you need to have money saved in order to purchase a home. But as Gamalier mentioned, a minimum of three percent down. Another factor that is very important to understand when you're using conventional is the what type of credit score yeah, do I need? Important. So credit score for this particular program, most banks require a minimum of roughly a 620, but it, it varies from bank to bank. Sometimes some banks may require 620, some banks will go up to yeah. 680. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Credit score is very important also. Yeah, so keep, yeah, you can also check your credit score before you meet with a loan officer. It kind of gives you a, an idea of where you're at as well. Another important factor, Gamalier, is the DTI, and that's debt to income ratio. And obviously that's what the bank qualify you when it looks into the loan, yeah. and that is normally for a conventional, it's up to 43%. Yeah. Uh, obviously it can vary from bank to bank, but yeah. just to give you uh, an idea, it's 43%. The way they look at it is, let's say for example, if you have an income monthly of 2,000, they will multiply your income times that 43%, 0.43, yep. and you get 860 in this sample. And what that means is that your monthly payment cannot be higher than that. And that includes the taxes, insurance, in and mortgage. payment of the house, or yep. just any PMI, which we'll talk further in here also. Yeah, so that's uh, on an income, say, of $2,000 a month, was the example Gamalier provided you there. 860 would be your maximum mortgage. Yes. When you include all those factors in there. All right, another benefit. When it comes to appraising the home, they're a little bit more lenient compared to, say, some of the other government loan programs. They with. definitely are, Alan. You know, one thing that I see is obviously compared to other particular programs is that when it comes to the appraisal, yeah. uh, they're not going to require a lot of repairs. Like when it yeah. comes yeah. to, I agree. Uh, for example, FHA. So that makes it a little more difficult when you're buying a home for the buyer and the seller. Uh, when the appraisal comes and they have a lot of lists of things that you have to do. Obviously, it could be something small, but it, become, it could complicate the loan process also. Yeah, so it, it can, for sure. Uh, this perk here is probably one of the best of uh, using a conventional loan. You it is. You can only purchase, a, not only purchase a primary home, but you can purchase your second home and your investment property. Which is my favorite thing. Yeah, I mean, he loves investments. It deals with investors yeah. all the time. So a conventional loan allows you to buy any type of property like that. And that's a big benefit. Obviously, it has you a lot of usage that. compared to a loan, which they require yeah. just to use particular loan like FHA we mentioned, yeah. which is just for primary home. But you know, with conventional, like Alan mentioned, you could use your primary, you could yeah. use it for a second home, you could use it for investment property also. Yeah, and then PMI, private mortgage insurance. Actually, we have a video on that. What is PMI? Check that one out. Mm -hmm. We'll go a little bit more detailed about it, but it's private mortgage insurance. And with a conventional loan, in order to avoid PMI, you have to put a minimum of 20% down payment. Yeah, and that obviously is very important just to know that, you know, obviously you got to make sure that if you have that little bit of money aside, yeah, you could use it, but don't, don't use all your money for down payment because sure. you're going to end up broke. Leave some little bit of money 
for when those repairs they come and everything but another another factor that is very important is the loan limit mm -hmm. uh, for this particular program conventional is six hundred forty seven thousand two hundred yeah. which means that if you are borrowing more than six hundred forty seven two hundred then you got to use a different loan which is will be jumbo. in this factor typically jumbo yeah, and normally jumbo. interest rates are higher yeah. when you use an a jumbo loan. Yeah, so take that into consideration as well, depending on how big of a house, how much you want to spend on a house, will determine your interest rates significantly here if you're going to go with a conventional loan versus a jumbo loan. And Gambler, lastly, what's what's makes <laughs> conventional loans such an important one to use? Well, in general, obviously, uh, and when you use a conventional loan, um, mortgage payments are typically lower yeah. because they don't have all the additional fees that you have in all the other loans like for example like we talked about fha which they have another insurance, insurance and mortgage insurance yeah. in there and a lot of other loans uh, for first time buyer they have additional costs in there embedded so conventional is a really good way to go if you're a first time buyer also because typically it'll it has less money. fee yeah save you money in the long run so that's something to consider all right, so we went over the definition of a conventional loan and some of the benefits that come along with using a conventional loan. I hope this video has been helpful. Well, we, we love to work with buyers. We work with a lot of lenders from uh, community banks all the way to big banks. Sure. Our job is to help you match you with the best bank possible, that bank that gives you not just the best interest rate, but also the best closing costs. You want to compare apples to apple and make sure you're getting the best loan possible. And remember to click like and subscribe to our YouTube videos. We've got plenty of videos to share and share with your family and friends as well if you find our videos informative. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Have a great day.